suspicious. Look at this. The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, 
This is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it. What a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still... When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? That's what I'm talking about! Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Famous, renowned artist, huh? Wow, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. Let's do it. I'm gonna make him pay.
Wait. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? Hmm. You hear her? No use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. think you're talking to this is too boring so I'm going to scout around a bit hmm. are you done it's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei's seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. 
I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still! <sighs> Itago-kun! Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. <clears throat> I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever. What? Nude? Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that... Wait, ain't that bad? Sensei is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely. I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. No! Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! Is she done being a model? A cat? You moron! He's totally out of his mind! I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up! How dare that, Yusuke! The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna... Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? 
Madarame is no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke, who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself, with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Kitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? What? Are you saying I'm... No, I mean... That's not what this is about! We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? Me? I don't know nothing. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. I guess we should go home for today. See you.
Hey. Hey, hey! Okay. My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Matarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. Furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route from the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Matarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or 
maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey, what is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that. But my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means... June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen here. We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay?